Vitalab egg donation agency Vida, based in Morningside Stanton, empowers you as a woman to help others achieve their dream of starting a family. With compassion and cutting edge technology, our team together with Vitalab has over 30 years of experience and gives you the chance to present someone with the miracle of life by donating your eggs. So egg donation at Vitalab for us is, is really a journey and we like to refer to it as a journey. It's not a question of just arriving at the clinic and diving into egg donation. So we like to look after the donors as we would like to look after the recipient couples. They are as important to us. And in, in order to go through the journey, we have got a starting point and a finishing point. And the starting point would be to meet the donor, to assess the donor, to make sure that she does have the ability to donate because not everybody can donate. Women generally at the age of 26 have got 400,000 eggs with which they can reproduce. And the most amazing thing is that these eggs are grouped in families of about 100 to 1,000 and that your body will use one of those families every month so that you do not deplete the eggs when you do egg donation. You will ostensibly harvest the same 100 to 1,000 um, and the rest of the eggs will still be there. And because of that, we do not interfere with the donor's future fertility at all. If it would be, it would be unethical. Our experienced team provides recipients with a frozen egg bank in one central location. In addition, Vida is the only egg donation agency in South Africa, which is a part of our highly experienced fertility clinic, Vitalab. This video will take you step by step through the gratifying and fulfilling process of donating your eggs at Vida. If you're interested in becoming an egg donor, there is a few basic requirements that we look for. First of all, your age. You need to be between 18 and 32. Um, further to that, your BMI, which is your body mass index. You can easily work that out with your height and weight, and there's online calculators available. We need it to be 29 or less. Lastly, we do need them to have a matric just so that we know that they understand what they're signing and what they are then allowing us to do with them in an egg donation cycle. A real advantage for a young woman who's coming and applying to be an egg donor is to go through our screening process where they'll be given a gynecological examination by a fertility specialist, something they wouldn't have access to normally. This evaluation will tell them exactly where they stand from a reproductive perspective as well. They'll get valuable information from both the scan plus all the blood tests that we run and having that consultation with the fertility specialist. So those ladies fortunately come here and have the opportunity to be screened and assessed and to get that information um, at an early stage in their lives to understand that you know what, um, I really need to think about this because otherwise I might end up where I'm in the need of an egg donor. Instead of being an egg donor, I might need an egg donor to have children. As an egg donor, you can be at ease knowing that you're in a unit, a fertility clinic that has specialist doctors, embryologists, nurses, all of which are putting your care at the forefront of this donation cycle. The donor have the reassurance that she is in good hands from the point of view that she will constantly see the same people um, and the same people will have her same best interests at heart. Our egg donors receive complete anonymity. You'll be compensated for reasonable expenses incurred. You undergo a free gynecological examination by one of our medical specialists. There is also very little time needed to be taken off from work and there'll be no medical costs as these are all covered. You also have valuable face-to-face -face consultations with our experienced team members. Our clinic is proud to offer a no risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. So in brief, ovarian hyperstimulation would mean that the ovary will produce many eggs. That's what the word hyper means. And when it produces many eggs, it enlarges. It starts to leak fluid into the abdominal cavity and that leads to a whole host of problems and can lead to admission in ICU. We have arrived at a time um, and place where we can actually stimulate people today without worrying or having to worry about the development of ovarian hyperstimulation. So the general incidence of ovarian hyperstimulation over the past years has generally been about 2 to 5 percent. 
um, and that has come down to 0% and that's purely due to the fact that we've changed the medication um, that we use in order to mature the eggs just prior to harvesting, which takes the, the risk of developing ovarian hyperstimulation completely out of the picture. Having your eggs frozen immediately after retrieval allows you to donate on your own schedule. You do not need to wait for a recipient cycle to be synchronized with your own, which is sometimes the longest part of the egg donation process for egg donors. VIDA is the only facility in South Africa that currently offers this service. Perhaps most significant of all, to many of our donors, is the profound sense of satisfaction and fulfillment that they experience. Through this altruistic gift of hope, you can eternally impact, transform and positively change other couples' lives forever. step as an egg donor at VIDA is to fill out a questionnaire. If the questionnaire shows that you would be a good candidate for donation, you'll be invited for a no-charge consultation with our egg donor team, who will then explain the process to you in detail. Consultations are held on weekdays at our clinic. In this appointment there will be a gynecological examination. We're basically looking at each of your ovaries and looking at the follicles. This will tell us how your ovaries are going to respond to the medication and potentially how many eggs we think we'd be able to retrieve. After this we do some blood tests. Should you not pass our screening, it's important to remember that this isn't a reflection on your own fertility. first day, our friendly receptionist will take you to one of the scan rooms. You'll meet the scan team, empty your bladder, and then have your vaginal ultrasound scan. It's a painless process and takes about two minutes and will tell us how suitable your ovaries are to respond to stimulation medications, reflecting how many eggs you'll be able to retrieve from your cycle of treatment. beginning of your cycle and we're just doing a baseline scan to make sure both your ovaries are quiet and I just want to take you through so you can understand what we're looking at. Endometrium is 2.8 millimeters which we would expect it and now we're going to go to the side of your uterus so that we can find your ovary. Now there's your left ovary. Thereafter, you will be taken to the Vitalab main reception, where you'll create a donor profile for you and make an appointment with one of our specialist doctors and nurses to explain the egg donation process. Next, you'll be taken for blood tests in order to confirm the absence of illnesses such as sexually transmitted infections, thyroid function, as well as your blood group. The results of your blood test are released after two days.
You are only eligible to begin an egg donation cycle once you have met with one of Vitalab's doctors. Possible side effects uh, are, are really minimal. The, the, the major one I think would be headaches, headaches which is common after the administration of the injection. It generally happens about two hours after the injection. The, the second thing would be the needle that we use to harvest the eggs. That needle is a very thin bore needle that goes through the vaginal wall into the ovary to harvest the eggs. And the principle is exactly the same, whether I take the needle and go through the vaginal wall into the ovary or whether I take the needle and stick it into my hand, it pierces the skin, so the likelihood of bleeding and infection is always there. Fortunately, the reassuring fact is that the likelihood of that happening is less than 0.2% of thousands of cycles that happen in the world every day. And I can really admit to the fact that I've never seen it in my life. So it's very rare. After this consultation, you'll then meet with the nurse coordinator in order to plan and set the dates for your donor cycle. You as the donor will be put onto a combined oral contraceptive or the pill and this is for us to be able to regulate your cycle so that we can plan the dates exactly for this treatment. Also important to remember is that we are trying to retrieve as many eggs as possible so that we can increase the chances of success for the recipients. So typically we're looking to get somewhere between 12 to 15 eggs from each donor's cycle. You'll be treated with fertility injections that stimulate the development of eggs. These medications have been used for over 30 years and are the same medications used by women undergoing IVF treatment utilizing their own eggs. You'll receive the medication free of charge, along with detailed information and instructions. Our nurse will teach you exactly how to inject the medicine yourself, if you so choose, or you could come into the unit daily for these injections. The majority of your injections are taken with a near painless pen injection, the same convenient type that diabetics use. You can also bring along a friend or family member who can be taught to administer the injections on your behalf. The Vitalab nurse coordinator will also explain the temporary side effects that you may experience while taking these medications. For an average of 10 to 12 days, you'll take your injections for stimulation at home and will stay in constant contact with you. During stimulation injections, you'll need to visit Vitalab for ultrasound checkups. These visits usually last less than 30 minutes and are scheduled by appointment to suit you. We attempt to keep the ultrasound appointments down to three visits unless there are extenuating circumstances. The first scan once you've stopped your pill the second scan on day 6 of your stimulation and the third scan usually around day 10 or 11 of your stimulation process. As a donor, once you've started the stimulation process, which is about 10 to 12 days of stimulation injections, you will be coming through to our clinic for about two or three scans so that we can closely monitor the development and what's happening in the ovaries by this medication. It's important because if you're not responding, we need to catch it soon enough so that we can correct the protocol. And the same goes if you are over responding so that we can adjust the medications and adjust your protocol to then suit your cycle. Should you live outside of Gauteng, your screening and stimulation will be arranged by VIDA with a gynecologist in your hometown. You would only travel to VIDA, which is in Santon, for your egg retrieval. This will be a maximum of three days spent in Santon and all your associated travel and accommodation costs will be covered by VIDA on your behalf. In two to three percent of stimulation cycles, the treatment may be cancelled before reaching egg retrieval, should you not respond correctly to our medication. 
On your next period, the specialist will then advise whether you can commence a donation cycle again. After about 10 to 11 days of injections, once we've reached that point, the eggs are now ready and mature to be harvested. We take the donor downstairs to the IVF suite 35 hours later, where we administer conscious sedation. And again, conscious sedation means deep sleep, cannot feel and not remember anything. And at Vitalab, we can guarantee that. The procedure itself, extracting the eggs, takes about 10 minutes, after which the donor will wake up back in the ward, none the wiser. There will be no bleeding, no cuts, no stitches. Um, she will be absolutely fine, might feel a bit bloated. And after she's had a cup of coffee and passed urine, somebody will take her home. And the reason for somebody having to take her home is purely because of the fact that she had conscious sedation, that it's against the law to drive a car once you've had any kind of medication. They will generally have their menstrual cycle six days after the retrieval, and at the end of the cycle, everything goes back to normal. At VTLAB, we do give them the opportunity to come back to the clinic after they've started their cycle for us to scan, show them and reassure them that everything has gone back to normal and that their lives has indeed returned back to normal. We at VIDA have a special and caring relationship with you as a donor and keep you well informed, well prepared and ensure that you understand what you will be going through. Egg donors are allowed to donate numerous times. We encourage a waiting period of about two to three months between each donation cycle. Typically, we allow three to four donations, sometimes slightly more, depends on what the donor herself is comfortable with, how many times she wanted to donate, and uh, what the doctor is then comfortable with as well. For women who have no viable eggs, and will never be able to experience a pregnancy and have lost all hope of having their own children, you will provide them with the solution and change their lives in a positive way forever. You, as a donor, will experience a great deal of personal satisfaction from this unique form of giving. At VIDA, we look at what we do as family building and look forward to being able to facilitate your special act of giving and kindness by providing you with care, attention and highly experienced medical expertise.